What's up, guys? It's Kyle. With GK Fitness. Ah! And uh, it is 8.41 in the morning. And it's leg day. So, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna make some breakfast. And then, it's leg day. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get up right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself because a lot of my coworkers do not believe how much I weigh. So I walk around, hold on. They, everyone thinks I weigh like 180, 185. Nope, I'm like weighing, let's see. Look at this, 162.6. <laughs> like, I'm not dense. I'm, when I first started, um, I would say striving to get lean, like cutting, I was like, 180. I'm just gonna say 180. I was like 178, 180. And um, I've been working out for two and a half, three years now. And I think the longest period of time I was stuck at a weight was probably 155, 160. And I was fluctuating even down to like 150 sometimes. So I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with 161 because I did get all the way up to 178, 180. I even hit 181 and I was lit. I was like, oh! I know I got too excited, but I just felt like that's such an accomplishment for me because I've always been so skinny and I've never I gained weight easily. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and shower. I know I shouldn't shower before the gym, but I need to wake up. So I'm gonna shower, eat, lift. All right, guys. So before I head out, I want to go over something real quick. Everyone's questioned the shoe that I wear for when I work out which are regularly Vans or the high top Vans. But um, the reason for that is when you're doing the main lifts like bench, deadlift, and squat, mainly deadlift and squat, you want zero like cushion or zero like off balance in any of your lifts. So like if you had a shoe like this, which has this, this sole that like is uneven, it adjusts to comfort you, it, it you just don't have complete control of the ground, you can't necessarily grip the ground so when you have this it's flat you can dig your toes down against it and that force will be pushed into the ground actually rather than the cushion absorbing that force causing you to be able to move the weight up so um yeah and if you have the high tops uh you, it really supports your ankle if you tie it all the way to the top and just squeeze your ankle so um yeah that's my shoe choice so uh let's get some breakfast i got my pasta and i got some chocolate milk so i am trying to get some carbs in me for this workout. But I'm gonna go ahead and go over this workout that Greg put in the group message. So there's box squats for four sets of eight. There's good mornings, three sets of 12. There's Romanian deadlifts for three sets of 12, three sets of 10. Lunges for three sets of 10. And then a superset of leg curls slash leg extensions for three sets of 10. Now what we do is in the beginning of the week, we do a little bit heavier weight with a little bit lower reps. And then on the second half of the week, we do the same like muscle group order, but with higher volume. And then we got calves, but I'm gonna flip it since, you know, I got no calves and I'm trying to treat my calves like a primary muscle and grow them. So I'm gonna do the calves before the legs. And also before I start any box squats, I'm gonna go for a heavy single, like an RPE of seven or eight. And RPE just means like how much you have left in the tank. So if I say seven, I probably could have had like three more reps. It's like on a scale of one to 10. So we have, so for the calves, we have donkey calf raises, three sets of 15 and calf extensions for three sets of 15, but that ain't enough to save your boy's legs. So I'm gonna do a little bit more than that. And there's abs and he put in quotes, if you can do it with extra weight, do it. Push yourself. Good motivation, Greg. This could be a brutal workout, guys. That's why we got these two things right here. So uh, I'm gonna eat this, drink that, head to the gym. It's really really packed so we'll see what we can do today before i even like go on there are two main muscles in your calves there's the gastrocnemius and the soleus the gastrocnemius is the longer muscle that has like so if you look at me at a side angle um it's the long muscle and if you looked at me straight on the soleus which is lies underneath the gastrocnemius is wide that gives you that, that three-dimensional look and it gets the soleus gets mostly like hit when your knee is bent and you like working, you're extending and unextending your calves, and when you're straight, when your leg's straight up, so like if you're doing like a leg press, calf press, or like a standing calf press, your gastrocnemius is getting hit. So um, if y'all don't have that wide look, I would suggest see the calf raise or anything with your knee bent, like a jump, like just jumping, jumping like helps a lot. I want a wider looking 
look, so I'm gonna hit the soy a little bit more. Just wanna let y'all know that. I think a lot of people, when they think of calves, is when they extend through their toes and they hold it at the top, they squeeze, but you've been doing that since you were like able to walk. You've been able to do that. You've never really held a weight with your heels stretched down. So I think trying to hold weight on the stretch rather than the extension will help you grow a little bit more. I've learned that from people like A-Train on YouTube and that's about it honestly. But I'm taking advice on it and honestly I've been feeling a lot more sore and my calves have gotten a little bit more vascular and maybe just a little size. Just, just a little. I'm wearing a, a belt and some knee sleeves. I'm gonna put some wrist straps on and I'm gonna give you a reason why. Uh, your belt you're supposed to squeeze and push your stomach against. Like it does have a little bit of back support, but it's mostly used for abdominal pressure, which helps create a force to go upwards. And then the knee sleeves, I just have kind of weaker knees, so I just like a little bit of support. And the wrist wraps, when you're pulling the bar, some people, like the bar can slide down your back. If your wrists are like that, it's gonna hurt the hell out of your wrist, and you're not gonna have all the force you need to go up. So when you have wrist wraps, it's gonna keep your wrist straight, and it's gonna have the force going through your palm and your forearms, and you squeeze the shit out of that bar. So I'm trying, I'm pretty much like a robot squatting this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, I think I'm just gonna do 315, see how it goes. I got it. And we can move on. Just got done with hit thrust. Guess who just showed up? Your boys. Your boys. Z money in the house. <laughs> but we're, he's actually going to join me on the last thing, which is a leg extension and leg curl superset for three sets of 12. So we're going to do that. This is Zach putting in work. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> what time is it? One o'clock. Greg gets off in one hour. So I'm just going to, you know, eat, shower. Take my protein. Hope you guys enjoyed my my clips. What's up, guys? We hope you all got you guys liked the last video that we uploaded. We didn't break up. There was just like a part where we were clickbait. getting you know, clickbait. Yeah, that's all it was. That's all I'm gonna say. Clickbait. We're still uh together. I like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see y'all next time.